So since I get a lot of questions about how I edit and post all of my YouTube videos from the Appalachian Trail, I figured I'd make this video and show you live, step by step, my whole YouTube process from editing the video, posting it, scheduling it to go live on a certain day, making the title, the thumbnail, the description, all that. So this is going to be a long video, but it's going to be for the people who want to see more of the behind the scenes on how I get all of this done from the trail. A lot of people think it takes a lot of time, but for me, I've done it for so long and I feel like I'm very efficient and fast with it and it doesn't really interfere with my hike. So here is everything I do to produce a video for YouTube. So the first thing I do when I begin the editing process is I open my editing software. I use PowerDirector. There is a free version, but I use the version that's like five or six dollars a month. It just gives some added features, no ads, and that's what I've been using the whole time. So I open that up. I start a new project and I scroll to the day and manually click every single video clip that I took from that day. I usually have a good memory of what clips I took each day. They're all in a row. So I just tap them all and put them into the project. So now that I have every single video that I took from that day in the project, I have to go to most of those video clips and trim them because a lot of the times when I hit record, it takes me a couple seconds to begin talking. I have to get the camera angle right, or maybe I have to think of what I'm gonna say. So I watch through all of those clips and make sure I'm really only putting in the vlog what I wanna be in the vlog, because you know, things happen. Sometimes I do the walking by shots and I have to trim it so you don't see me run back and get the camera or sometimes I slip up and mess up my words and I restart the sentence. So this is the most time consuming part of the whole editing process. But as I'm trimming the clips, I'm also watching the video and making sure the vlog looks good. So I just finished going through the video project and trimming all of the video clips. Before I started editing, I had about 21 minutes of footage, which I then edited down to about 15 minutes of footage. So the final video is going to be 15 minutes long. I really trimmed out a lot of extra stuff that didn't really make the cut into the final video because I never want my videos to be too long or get boring at any points. So I trimmed it down. I think I made a good video. That whole process took me 25 minutes. I feel like that was maybe longer than average just because I got a lot of footage from that day. It was a really exciting day because Cody was visiting. We saw Fresh Ground. My mom was there. We did the Virginia Triple Crown, which is an iconic section. So there's a lot of cool views. So now that I trimmed all the clips, the video is basically done and now I just have to process the video. So I have to save that video to my phone so then I can upload it to YouTube. When I process the video in the editing software app, it could take up to like five minutes. So I really just process it on my phone and then I can maybe get a chore done to like brush my teeth or pack my backpack and I try to be productive during those five minutes because you can't really minimize it while it's loading. <laughs> so that one took about five minutes to finish processing. That for me is the most boring part just because you can't do anything while that finishes processing. So now that the final video is saved to my phone. I can open the YouTube app and upload it. I don't really fill out any title or settings during this part because I save it for a different app. You'll see in a second. But yeah, I just upload the video and then it starts going. It can upload while the screen is minimized so I don't have to stare at it and watch it get to 100% because depending on the signal and the Wi-Fi, it could take anywhere from like five minutes to an hour. The next thing I do is make the thumbnail for the video. All of my thumbnails are so similar. So I have a draft of kind of like my template for my thumbnail saved in my thumbnail maker app. And so all I really have to do is open up the app, change the day number, and change the picture that I want to use. Usually it's a picture that I took during the day or I can just grab a screenshot of a cool video. 
I have a picture saved of me and Cody on McAfee Knob, so that's what I'm using for the thumbnail in this video. I think it kind of fully captures the fact that we're on McAfee Knob, the most photographed section of the whole Appalachian Trail, and also Cody's visiting. So those are two big moments, so of course that's something I want to show within the thumbnail. So now I'm going to open a separate YouTube app, which is called YouTube Studio. This app is for YouTube creators, and it's just an easier app to go into the video and update all the settings. So I'm going to open that. I'm going to change the thumbnail of the video to the one I just made. I'm also going to type out a title for the video. Usually it's the most exciting thing that happened in the video or something that I think will get people's attention. And then at the end of the title, usually I always put Appalachian Trail 2023. Um, in case people want to search that in the YouTube search, uh, hopefully my video comes up. And then I type a very simple description. All the description of my videos are the same. I have a section in my notes where I kind of log each day. So what number day is it? What's the date? What miles did I hike? Um, where did I start the day? Where did I end the day? And yeah, just the total miles. So I copy and paste that. I put that in the description and then I also paste um, just this pre-made thing I did with like all the gear I have, my social media channels and just all the typical things that I usually put in the description. Um, I just have that copied and pasted so I don't really have to type it out each time. Also in the YouTube Studio app there's a section to schedule the post. so. I schedule it for a specific day to go live at 7 a.m. That way, when I'm on trail, I don't have to worry about it every single morning. As long as I'm caught up on YouTube videos, a YouTube video will post at 7 a.m. So I usually wait till I'm in a town, kind of edit a bunch, and then I don't have to think about it for five days. So that is my whole entire YouTube process. Uh, it really doesn't take that much time. I hope you enjoyed a little bit behind the scenes on exactly what I do to make these daily videos go live on YouTube. It's a lot of work and I hope that you appreciate it. It is really fun for me to make the videos, so it's fun for me, hopefully it's fun for you guys to watch, and I will continue doing it until I reach Katahdin. So thanks for watching this. I uh, hope. It cleared it up if people were wondering how I get it all done, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!